Alright folks, so as you can see I've launched the game Homefront Revolution and the GPU is currently sitting at about 95 Celsius. It bounces between 94, 92, sometimes goes to the 80s and otherwise goes up into something like 98, 97 degrees. And the result is that the gameplay gets kind of choppy. Um, currently it's doing okay. But overall, what ends up happening is the R9 through 90X ends up throttling quite significantly. And the result is ultimately that you end up getting these issues where the game just slows down, um, gets random lag like every 10 seconds. And it's just quite frustrating. So the result is uh, because this game and ultimately also the game Sticks Master of Shadows is the same thing. You know, once the card reaches a certain temperature which is usually at around 95 or 98 celsius it starts to throttle back and that results in lost frames it results in things like intermittent lag that just can't you know just won't go away um, and you can see it right there you know just kinda kinda jitters here and there and uh, there's certain graphical glitches that end up occurring as well um, such as flicker on the screen and so on and so forth and uh, this, you know, this isn't supposed to be happening on a card that's this powerful with 8 gigs of RAM. Um, in a game that really, as you can see above, is uh, is not even taking up that much of the GPU's RAM itself. We can't actually really see it up there. But um, overall, this, this game sits at around um, 4, 4.5 with the high settings um, as far as the GPU VRAM usage. And the result is that this card should be able to run it you know at high settings no problem but it ends up being quite laggy um, for no reason alright guys so it looks like there's already an improvement I'm just looking at MSI Afterburner here and I'm getting about 34 degrees Celsius which is pretty gosh darn low um, I'm gonna go ahead and launch Homefront here and we'll see if um, if the temperatures are actually pretty low in the game as well. I'm hoping that as opposed to the card running at something like 90 degrees Celsius or something, we're going to be keeping it pretty low. So already there's an improvement because the game used to start out running with the card at about like 40 degrees Celsius to 45 um, and quickly jumping up into the 50s and here right now it's at 36 um, or 37. So, so far so good. Now it's finally jumped up to those um, sort of basic temperatures here so my fans should start ramping up but let's see how it performs when I'm actually in game I'm hoping that it'll remain around 80 or 76 the entire time which would mean that my graphics card should not be throttling back but let's see how this ultimately performs give this a little bit of time to load see how well we can do here still staying really cool I'm actually quite surprised Okay, so here we go. Temperatures are now finally starting to go up a little bit. Let's see what happens when I kind of get out of this little hole and go into a more populated area. Okay, wow, so yeah, still still very low temperatures um, that it used to never even be this low when um, when I'd be in a really unpopulated small town square type area so this is pretty impressive um, quite happy to say that this is uh, this is great temperatures overall so I mean it just now reached 60 normally the card would start at a base of that when I was in an area like this and it would only sort of just go up from there and so far this is holding really really steady um, I'm gonna see if maybe I can find a bike and see if the temperatures start going up as I increase my speed and uh, ultimately end up doing a little bit more stuff got a couple of guys here so let's see if we can get into a firefight still holding pretty good yeah, this is this is really impressive because I used to constantly get all kinds of lag spikes playing this. Um, it was just incredibly frustrating, 
And if it wasn't lag spikes, I was running my graphics card at like 100% um, fan speed, and so that was just, to say the least, very, very frustrating. Looks like my mouse kind of bugged out right there. A little bit of a lag spike, but I think that's just the game and the engine um, not being the most optimized um, that it can be. And again, this is running on CryEngine, so pretty takes you know quite a bit of your hardware to run this properly, and the settings are fairly high as well. Um, you know, my, my frame rate is not very good, but uh, that, um, that's to be expected from games that are open world and this big, and also running on the, the Cry Engine as well. But let's see if, um, if I can do some more bike scenes, ultimately, to see if I can drop the frame rates even lower. I think I should be pretty close to one right now. Still, I have to say that even though I was really unimpressed by the build quality of the setup, I think my problem is mostly that this is meant for reference cards, and I have a non-reference design, so it, it's not a 100% fit. You know, I had to kind of MacGyver it a little bit to get it running, which is, you know, it's kind of frustrating to have to do that, but, you know, again, from these sort of fans that are designed to be for all cards and not just one specific card you can't really expect it to be a 100 percent you know match and so I'm, I'm losing some frame rates here but that's just because ultimately I can't um, I can't handle these settings it's not necessarily due to the temperatures so the temperatures are actually doing just fine they're holding um, they're holding pretty good so even going through the same areas where I was walking before um, the frame rate seems much more stable than it used to be before because I used to the, the lag spikes would just come like every 10 seconds especially if I was on the bike it was borderline unplayable um, when riding the bike around town but now now this actually seems to be doing just fine and I'm sure if I had an even more aggressive fan profile I would be able to actually run this at even better temperatures but as it stands this is pretty darn good also something of note here is that the card sounds way way quieter than it used to be before um, I wish I had, had a decibel reading for you guys but this will just have to do and uh, honestly this is this is pretty good so I'm gonna try one more game see how all the temperatures hold up in that one the other game is just an Unreal Engine game so not nearly as intensive as um, as this but let's see anyway what we can uh, achieve here in terms of temperatures Let's see if MSI Afterburner is still up. Well, I guess it'll just come up right here. Okay, so the temperatures have dropped off yet again. Um, I Like I said, I used to always start at around 50 or 60 degrees, so this is pretty impressive that it's staying this low. Let's see if we can just continue the story here. Now the other thing that's kind of interesting is that I mean I'm, I haven't checked the temperatures for the VRMs because those are ultimately not on this um, on this application. I I think I'll have to download GPUZ to see if ultimately I can get some more uh, kind of information that way, and I'll report back to you guys how those are doing because, like I said before, um, during the installation, the whole part of this process was that I you know I didn't like the way it installed onto my graphics card in terms of not fully being connected it was it was really kind of frustrating and even you know part of the heatsink ended up having to come off because it simply would not fit under this you know this device so we'll just have to take a look and see if I can get that sorted because I think I could probably even manage an overclock with this card if I'm able to get those other components cooled off completely. As it stands right now though, it's performing. It still hasn't crashed just yet. Um, so it could be a good sign, but it may be one of those things where I need to stress test it a little bit more in something like Crisis 3 and see for how long it would keep going without necessarily dying on me because right now this is um, this is not really too much of a stress test. The Unreal Engine games don't necessarily take up that much um, on the hardware side 
especially this one running on the much older version of the Unreal Engine. But again, you know, at the end of the day, this is not enough of a stress test, I think, to really legitimize this running well. However, the fact that it hasn't crashed so far um, makes me quite happy. One thing I do have to note, though, is that earlier I ended up basically installing too many washers on the on the system and so the result was that my card would hit 100 degrees Celsius and just shut down um, along with my machine. So one thing I have to say is that only install the clear see-through washer, not the white one and not two of them at the same time and that should ultimately solve most of you guys problems with this. And again so far temperatures are great, I don't hear the cooler running so I think this totally validates um, this whole setup as, uh, as being a pretty good one. And so there you go, MSI Afterburner still at 45 degrees. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys.